We have looked at polygrouping in the previous chapter, but there is even more that can be done with the C-Modeler brush. It's a great for making uh, very specific polygraphs as we are about to see. So here you can see I have this sort of a uh, object which you can download and the link is given in the description below. It's kind of you can say a, a basic model over here that have a flat surface here and then we have the top surface here. So you can press shift f on your keyboard to get your frame and you can see how the frame is working on so there are quite a good number of polygons over here it's not a high polygon group but there are some good number of polygons there. so let's see uh, what do we have which is a special kind of polygraph that's just for the z ponder brush so uh, let me show you what i mean but first let me turn on my z ponder brush so b z m and i'm over here in my z border bridge now so what i will do over here is that i will just go to a single uh, polygon here and i will press spacebar and i will go to delete okay now if i click on any one of the polygon it will delete so basically it will delete that polygon which is fine so with this brush you can just click on any polygon and delete it so let's undo that so now here on with the help of the z monitor you can create polygroups how to create a polygroups so you just have to press alt on your keyboard okay and you can just drag over the surface that you want to be a polygroup and it will be all this sort of a you can say uh, like a white color so it will be always white color so let me undo that right now and create as uh, like an uh, like a special arrangement here something like this okay and maybe something like this you can see that okay so this is what i have right now and uh what now i want to do is that I want to delete a very specific arrangement of polygons. I want to delete these. Now, how I will delete only these? So, what I will do here is that I will go to any polygon spacebar, and once I will do that, I'm in the delete. But what I want to delete? I want to delete maybe uh, like a polygroup over here. Okay, so let me select which polygroup I can delete from here. So I have a polygroup, where is it, polygroup border over here, okay. And, and if I will go and delete on, uh, and press on any one of this polygroup, so what it will do is that it will delete that whole border thing over here, okay. So basically, uh, that was a temporary polygroup just for the Z monitor brush. However, you can also create permanent polygroup, which you can use for any other option outside the Z monitor. So let's see uh, the other side and how to do the permanent one. Uh, I will undo this one. Okay, and let's go below over here. And you can see that we have this flat area. So I will just press, uh, press spacebar over here. Okay. So once you will uh, press the spacebar, and you have here uh, different options here. Okay. Uh, like you have you see model modifiers and transpose, split, and all these kind of uh, thing over here. So what I want to use over here is that I just want to keep uh, this one, like the one that I was using. The delete one okay or uh, let's do one thing because we are creating polygroups so we will I will just go simple and click on the polygroup over here so I will go to the polygroup here so what it will do is that it will create a polygroup on my scene now what kind of polygroup I want to make this time I will choose an area here which is basically uh, you know 
uh, flat island. Okay, so I will choose the flat island over here. So if I will click over here, so what it will do is that it will make a polygroup on a flat island. So I will click here. As soon as I will click, you can see that whatever area was flat, you can see what area, whatever area was flat is now turned into a new polygroup. And this is the permanent one, by the way, because you can see it's not white. Now, if I will do the same thing over here somewhere, and click on it, you can see that it have selected those parts which were flat in this area. Okay, uh, if I will click on this one, so it will click on that. So that means not uh, the whole thing is flat, but you know, adjacent to these are a kind of flat. But as this was 100% flat, the bottom area, so it selected, but it ignored this part because there was a little curve over here, which makes it uh, a bit, uh, you know, a kind of a concave. Okay. Uh, so you convex and then there is no sort of a uh, flat area over here. So you will notice that it's creating a polygraph along this uh, like area until or unless I find something that is not flat. Okay. So wherever it is flat, it will create that. But when it will find something which is not flat, it will stop over here. So that's why it selected this flat area as a polygraph. So now let's see how this poly uh, groups will help us. I will go to this area over here and spacebar. Okay. And here I will choose extrude. And I will use the extrude this time, the poly loops extrude, just to show you. So if I will choose the poly loop over here and go to any one of this loop and check the direction if this now the direction over here let me press uh let me zoom in a little bit more and you can see the direction over here the orange line is pointing downwards that means it will extrude the poly uh, the poly loop which is coming in this direction which is uh, drawn in this direction so if i go here and extrude it all and you can say uh you know uh, regardless it's a different polygroup or anything it's uh, it have just uh, extruded the whole area here now let me undo this and go to the space bar here and this time i will use the poly loop okay and polygroup so i will go here go to this part the same direction and this time when i will extrude you will see that it will only extrude that part, which we checked. Uh, we also uh, did an experiment in the last lesson with it, and it stopped here because there was a new polygroup starting. Okay. Now this time, uh, what I uh, now one more thing I can do here is a space bar, and instead of poly loop and polygroup, I will choose poly loop and flat. So if I will go in this direction here and start doing that so you can see that whatever is flat is being uh, extruding out okay in a poly loop area so if i will do something here as uh, similar but pointing this direction you can see that the whole flat area is now extruding outwards let me zoom out now let's see one more thing here if I will go here and try to, if I want to create a more polygroups, so I will go to the polygroup option over here. Okay. And this time I will make a polygroup on all the whole polygroup, like polygroup all. Okay. So I will make a polygroup and I will make a polygroup on all of the polygons, uh, like the, the polygroup that are here. But I don't want to use one group ID. I don't want to because like there are two, two, two IDs. One is the top one, one is the bottom one. I want to use the ID which is in a checker form. So if I will click over here and then start making, let me make this a uh, bridge size bigger. Start uh, dragging over here, it will start making a polygroup and that will be in a checker. Place. Okay, so you can see that it's checkered. And if I click on uh, Control W again to hide it, and then again if I press it, you can see that it is creating a polygroup which are in a checkered form. Okay, 
So a very nice way uh, to create a interesting uh, polygraph over here. So uh, really, there's infinitive ways to combine all of these different settings. So it's impossible to go over them all. I encourage you to go and play with them and see what uh, kind of different things you can like discover over here and see how you can make different polygraphs. Simple thing you have to just keep in mind is that whenever you're creating a polygraph, you just have to be inside the uh, you have to hover over the polygon. Make sure you are in the polygraph because this will make a polygraph. And how you want to make a polygraph, a single or all or whatever. And then, you know, your modifiers. So that's it for today. And I hope you have learned a lot from this uh, polygraph making uh, like lesson in, uh, with the Z modeler. And you can make different polygraphs uh, later on also. And if you have liked my video, please click on the like button. Any question if you have, please leave it in the comment section below. And also one more thing I want to ask you is that if you have your social media accounts and if you have, uh, if you want to collaborate with me, if you have your own tutorial channel and if you want to collaborate with me, so I'm happy to help you and I'm happy to collaborate with you. And uh, if the tutorials that you have on your channels are a niche with my tutorials on my channel, so I will be very grateful uh, and, and uh, I will help you with that and I'm happy to, uh, like, happy, uh, to collaborate with you. And one more thing is that uh, if you have your social media accounts, uh, you can please, please, I will really appreciate if you can give me a shout out. And uh, till the next class, take care of yourself and enjoy your day.